The National Football League is full of so many monumental, history-defining moments. But what if some of these moments had never happened, or if their outcomes had been different? What if the course of the NFL history had been changed by a single play, a different decision, or a twist of fate? Well, our view of the sport as we know it may be vastly different. Now, let's take a look at some of the biggest what-if moments in NFL history. First, we gotta talk about a what-if moment that could have rewritten NFL history books. Imagine a world where the legendary Tom Brady wasn't the driving force behind the New England Patriots' glory days in the 2000s. Before that era, the Patriots were a decent team with occasional playoff appearances, but always falling short, even in Super Bowls 20 and 31, where they were outmatched. However, the tide turned in 2001 season when the Patriots, reeling from two seasons without playoff bursts, decided to bring in Bill Belichick as their head coach. Unfortunately, his debut season was lackluster with a 5-11 record. But then, the team made a pivotal move by drafting a quarterback in the sixth round of the NFL draft, and it proved to be a game changer, but not at first look. At the time, Tom Brady wasn't the superstar quarterback he is today. Sure, he had some success in college, but that's a diamond dozen in the NFL. With Drew Bledsoe as the starting quarterback, the pressure wasn't on Brady to make an immediate impact. When you draft someone in the sixth round, you're not expecting a lot, but you hope they'll eventually bring something to the table. Even if Belichick saw potential in Brady, it's unlikely he predicted just how incredible he'd become. After all, Bledsoe was the team's golden boy, a strapping cannon-armed QB who was the first overall pick in the 93 NFL Draft. Bledsoe's talents helped put the Patriots on the map after years of struggle. And before the 1995 season, the team rewarded him with the highest average salary in NFL history. Owner Robert Kraft even sweetened the deal with the highest signing bonus ever at a whopping $11.5 million. Now, the 2001 season was a turning point for the New England Patriots. But it didn't start out that way. The team suffered back-to-back -back losses to the Bengals and the Jets. And things only got worse when starting quarterback Drew Bledsoe suffered a chest injury in Week 2. Enter Tom Brady a six-round draft pick who wasn't expected to do much, but surprised everyone by leading the Patriots to an impressive 11-3 record while he was the starter. That included a memorable playoff run that culminated in a stunning upset victory over the heavily favored St. Louis Rams in Super Bowl 36. The Patriots' success in that season and the years that followed is a testament to the resilience and determination of the team, led by Brady and coach Bill Belichick. The tuck rule game against the Oakland Raiders, which some would say was a lucky break for the Patriots, was just the beginning of a dynasty that would take over the NFL for the next couple of decades. The Patriots went on to win six Super Bowls and were contenders in that entire period. But what if Bledsoe had never been injured? Would the Patriots have still become a dynasty? The truth is, in the early days of the New England Patriots, Quarterback Drew Bledsoe was the man in charge. Owner Robert Kraft even went as far as to say that Bledsoe was one of the best investments he had ever made. And it's easy to see why. Bledsoe led the Patriots to their first Super Bowl in 96, and by the time he was 25, he'd made three Pro Bowls. But as years went by, Bledsoe's success dwindled, and the Patriots became mediocre, and in 2000, they were downright bad. However, little did anyone know that a young quarterback named Tom Brady was waiting in the wings. And with hindsight, we know that Brady was ready to take over even before Bledsoe's injury in 2001. Brady had every intention of winning the starting job, and there's no doubt that he would have beaten out Bledsoe sooner rather than later. But even if Bledsoe had never gotten injured, Brady's talent was too great to be left on the bench forever. So what would have happened if Bledsoe had never been injured? Well, Brady would have eventually played and impressed but it would have happened much later. And while the Patriots would have won multiple Super Bowls, their success would have not been as great. Assuming that head coach Bill Belichick eventually made the decision to go with Brady, their success would have hinged on when that move took place. If it happened after they won their three Super Bowls in four years, their success may not have been as great. But regardless of the timeline, one thing is for certain. Speaking of not missing out on greatness, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the greatest videos from the world of NFL football. Now, we all know Tom Brady is widely considered the greatest quarterback of all time, but there's one player who could challenge his throne, Patrick Mahomes. However, did you know Mahomes had a what-if moment that could have altered the course of NFL history? See, back in 2017 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears made a questionable move that still baffles football fans to this day. 
The Bears traded up from the third pick to the second to take Mitch Trubisky, passing up on promising quarterback prospects like Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. It's a decision that the Bears fans still cringe about today. Just imagine what if they had made a different choice. It's possible that Mahomes wouldn't be leading the Kansas City Chiefs to Super Bowl victories and challenging Brady's legacy as the GOAT. Let's face it, the Bears messed up big time. In hindsight, trading up to select the third best quarterback in the draft was a foolish decision. With players like Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson on the board, it was clear that they were more talented and more experienced than Mitch Trubisky. Plus, Mahomes was even available at the 10th pick, which means they gave up valuable assets for nothing. It was an utter disaster. But it gets even worse. Patrick Mahomes' father revealed that the Bears had promised to draft him with the third overall pick. During an appearance on the Parkins and Spiegel show, Mahomes' dad stated, They told him they were going to draft him, so we thought he was going to be the third pick overall and go to Chicago. He had a great meeting when he was there and liked all the guys that were doing stuff there. He thought he was going to be a bear. And then once they traded up and got Mitch, it kind of hurt him. It really did. During a recent interview, Patrick Mahomes opened up about his pre-draft interactions with the Chicago Bears. He said, It wasn't that I thought the Bears were going to draft me, but I was told that they drafted a quarterback that I would be the quarterback that they drafted. And that wasn't necessarily directly from their people, but that was told to my camp. Mahomes admitted that he was surprised when the Bears selected Mitchell Trubisky over him in the 2017 NFL Draft. Given what he had been told by the team, Mahomes said, It did surprise me a little bit, but they told me they weren't drafting a quarterback, so that was the most surprising. The truth is, the thought of what could have been still lingers in the witty city when it comes to Patrick Mahomes. The Chicago Bears missed out on drafting the superstar quarterback who has gone on to earn five Pro Bowl nods already, two All-Pro selections, two MVP awards, and two Super Bowl rings in just five seasons as the starting quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. While it's impossible to know for sure, it's intriguing to consider what might have happened had Mahomes ended up with the Bears. Mahomes is undoubtedly one of the greatest talents the quarterback position has ever seen, but it's worth considering how much of his success can be attributed to the situation he found himself in. He had the luxury of sitting behind Alex Smith for a year, learning the ropes, and then stepped into a situation where he had Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, and a great head coach in Andy Reid. The Bears' situation at the time of the draft was not as desirable as the one Mahomes found himself in with the Chiefs. The talent around him in Chicago, while not terrible, did not compare to what he had in Kansas City. However, Mahomes is a generational talent and it's hard to imagine him not leading the Bears to at least one Super Bowl title at some point during his career. Would the Bears have won two Super Bowl rings in five years like the Chiefs have? Mm, seems unlikely. But Mahomes is not system dependent and his talent would have shone through no matter what the organization structure looked like. It's fair to assume he would have earned at least one MVP award and multiple Pro Bowl selections given his extraordinary skills and talent. Unfortunately for Bears fans, they will never know what might have been and they only have themselves to blame for missing out on the opportunity to draft Mahomes. It stings even more that Mahomes led the Chiefs to their second title in a few years. Well, do show some love for any Bears fan you know. It's quite a lot to bear. Coming up next, do you ever wonder what the Seattle Seahawks would look like without their former star quarterback, Russell Wilson? Well, it's hard to imagine, given the success that Wilson had brought the team since he was drafted in 2012. But believe it or not, there was a time when the Seahawks had another quarterback in mind to lead their team. In the lead-up to the 2012 NFL season, all eyes were on the Seattle Seahawks' new quarterback, Matt Flynn. The young and talented Flynn had made a name for himself as Aaron Rodgers' backup in Green Bay and was set to take the starting spot from Tavares Jackson, who had struggled in his time with Seattle. Flynn was expected to be the franchise's long-term answer at quarterback, taking over from the legendary Matt Hasselbeck, who had left for Tennessee. The Seahawks invested heavily in Flynn, signing him to a lucrative contract, and fans were eager to see him don the team's new Nike uniforms and lead the team to glory. In the 2012 draft, the Seattle Seahawks focused on bolstering their defense with first and second round linebacker picks Bruce Irvin and Bobby Wagner. Then they made a surprising move by selecting Russell Wilson out of Wisconsin in the third round. Wilson was a two-star recruit and the 67th ranked quarterback in his class. Not exactly the kind of player that generates a lot of buzz. 
However, during the preseason, Wilson competed with Flynn and Jackson for the starting job and emerged as the victor. Despite Flynn's $26 million contract, the 5'11 rookie proved himself in the regular season, leading the Seahawks to an impressive 11-5 record and a playoff win. From that point on, it was clear that this was Russell Wilson's team and Matt Flynn was quickly forgotten. However, it begs the question, what if the Seahawks never drafted Wilson? Now, when the Seattle Seahawks drafted Russell Wilson in the third round of the 2012 NFL Draft, they likely had no idea how pivotal that decision would be for the franchise. And there is no doubt that without Wilson, the team may have never reached the heights they have over the past decade, including their Super Bowl win in 2014. Wilson's unique ability to create plays and keep opposing defenses guessing has been a key factor in the team's success. With his arm strength and mobility, he has the ability to launch the ball downfield or take off on a run at any moment, leaving defenders scrambling to keep up. In contrast, Matt Flynn lacked that same unpredictability and was not capable of leading the team to a championship. However, did you know the Seahawks almost missed out on Wilson? According to league sources, at least three other teams planned to draft him shortly after Seattle selected him in the third round. The Philadelphia Eagles, Indianapolis Colts, and Washington Redskins all had their sights set on Wilson, with plans to use him as a backup quarterback. It's impossible to say how different things would be for both the Seahawks and those other teams had Wilson not ended up in Seattle. The Eagles, for example, could have had a future star quarterback to replace Michael Vick, while the Seahawks would have been left with Flynn as their starting quarterback. It's also possible that stars like Richard Sherman and Earl Thomas may have left the team without Wilson's leadership and playmaking ability. Overall, it's clear that Wilson's impact on the Seattle Seahawks cannot be overstated. Without him, the team may have never reached the heights they did and could still be mired in obscurity. For other teams, Wilson remains the quarterback who got away, while for Seattle, he is a savior and a key figure in their success. The question of what if will always be a part of the NFL and imagine how different things could have been if any of these were true. But no matter how many what if scenarios we come up with, we'll never truly know what could have been. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.